Okay, I'm inside lower Perry Cave, heading towards the lower entrance, or no, from the lower entrance, heading towards the lower end. I don't think it goes very far, but I definitely want to try. The cave here is a little bit tricky. I got my backpack on, I think I can get through here okay. Interesting shape to the ceiling here. It's got like a big ridge. All right, I'm standing up here, but the floor is sloping down, not as fast as the ceiling is sloping down. So I think I need to crouch down. Sounds easy enough. Yeah, I'm crouching down here. So the ceiling is a little less than six feet. I got a helmet on too, remember, so I have to be careful. It makes me a little bit taller. Notice. Oh, cool, they got a sensor here. I wonder if that's a camera. <laughs> wonder if my, looks like it might have a motion sensor. Oh, it might record sound. I wonder if it's keeping track of bats. Well, anyway, my YouTube channel is Water Skippers. I wonder if they recorded that. <laughs> this cave is officially open, obviously. But interesting. All right, well, that's interesting. Notice how the ceiling's not so smooth up here. Like, there was breakdown. The breakdown must be hidden underneath all this stuff. I don't know if you could tell the floor I'm walking on. That's rat droppings. The whole floor is rat droppings. So yeah, definitely wear shoes when you're caving, <laughs> or boots. I'm not doing any steep climbs or rock climbing, you know, boulder scrambling, so I'm not gonna wear boots, I'm just wearing shoes. It's a lot more comfortable. <laughs> These are actually new shoes, I'm breaking them in. Getting them all dirty. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but the dark spots, that's where it's damp, and then the dry spots where it's dry. That's common in caves. Outdoors, you don't always notice it so much, because when it rains, it's usually pretty even. Everything gets wet about the same. Hmm. Yeah, I'm actually on a long road trip right now, so I'm gonna have this video uploaded for a long time. So, wonder if they're gonna go to my YouTube channel and try to see this video. Wonder why it's not there yet. So, I haven't uploaded it yet. Man, I don't know if you can see this. The floor is several dozen feet wide here. The ceiling is several dozen feet tall. All sorts of pretty colors. Very interesting cave. I kind of wish I got a wider angle lens for my camera though. This is a 60 millimeter lens. It's really good for shooting train videos, but it's a little too tight for shooting uh, cave videos, but I don't want to buy a whole collection of lenses and keep track of them all. I'll probably end up losing them or something. So I'm gonna shoot with this one. Oh wow, look at this, there's a hole in the wall little bitty ledge here. Cool. Just goes back a little way, it's not too far. Interesting. All right, then. Huh? Oh, it's nice and cool in this cave. It's only like 8 a.m. outside and it's already, well, I guess it'd be 8 a.m. in here too, but you know what I mean. This is summer, this is mid-June. What is today, June 21st, 2024, so, uh, yeah. Wow. Man, the map is no good. I swear the map said this cave was going to be tiny. <laughs> Man, the map is confusing. Well, part of it is really blurry. It's too small. I printed it out too small because I wanted to fit on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. But anyway, I've only been here once before with somebody else, so I was kind of bum-rushed through it. Now I'm going my speed. So 
see how the floor, wall is mostly flat, but it's like one little spot there. It's not so flat. Interesting. And the floor, look at this. It's just solid dirt, solid dust. Very easy floor. If you got a car in here, you could easily drive a two wheel drive car through here. But obviously there's no way to get one in here. That'd be a really dumb idea anyway. Even if it was BEV like a Tesla. Weird how that one rock is up on the side. I highly, yeah, it must be natural. It's just weird how it's clean, as opposed to all these other rocks that are covered in dirt. I know people didn't bring that rock in here. Oh yeah, see this one, these rocks are black too. Kind of, so. Just some got dirtier, even on the ceiling, look at this. There's like one dark spot on the ceiling for some reason. What does that mean? Did moisture clean it off or did moisture not get it covered in minerals? Huh. Man, this cave is huge. Considering, man. Yeah. What's funny, if you look at the map, there's like four caves here. There's a big gap between them. So there's like, Probably a lot of lava tube here with no natural entrance. I gotta admit, if I owned this land, <laughs> I would come up a way to dig down there and find, make an entrance. That'd be really cool. But yeah, this is a uh, government land. I forgot, I think it's BLM. Not Black Lives Matter, Bureau of Land Management. <laughs> the other BLM. Man, acronyms keep getting recycled. Like, yeah. I was joking that we need like more letters in the alphabet so we can invent more three letter acronyms. Of course, then we got in a long conversation about the difference between an acronym and abbreviation and stuff like that, mnemonics. Wow, okay, I'm gonna pan up here. Look how rough the ceiling is. Those are mineral deposits, just like a real limestone cave. But this is a lava too. So it's about eight foot off the floor. If you see something like that, please don't touch it. They're very fragile. And then it'll take thousands of years to grow back. Like over here on the wall. Yeah, see, look, I'm, uh, look how rough the wall is. That's natural formations. That's very, very good. I'm gonna actually, hold on, let me change the aperture. Okay, there. So I'll help keep it in focus a little bit. I was shooting at f over 1.8 to maximize the light. Now I'm at f over eight, so you can see a little more in focus. Wow. This is really pretty. This battery is almost dead though. Okay, so I'm gonna change the aperture back over to F over 1.8 so I can finish the cave here, I think. Wow. One thing that's cool about this cave, it's very, very white, very light colored, so it comes out well on camera. A lot of caves, they're like a dark gray, so. No matter how much light you throw at them, they don't really come out on camera. <laughs> lava tubes, especially. What's weird, some lava tubes, they have like reds and pinks and purples because of the different stuff inside the rock, <laughs> types of rock. So look at this. See how the wall is not smooth here. It like broke apart. As opposed to back there. That's the way I came. Always keep track of which way you came from in a cave. You don't want to get lost. It seems simple enough. You got it one and two guess, but this cave is very, very level. Like I can't tell by looking at it very well. I'm pretty sure we're going downhill, but it's not very steep at all. 
lot of caves, it's very obvious because of the rock on the floor. Another little hole in the wall. Interesting. So it's weird, the right side is nice and smooth, but the left side is all broken to pieces. It's a halfway good cave. Okay, now this is fun. Let me go over here. So this time the left side is smooth, and the right side is all messed up. But the thing is, I don't know, heard the floor is reasonably flat and level here, except for a little bit of bumps. But the ceiling gets lower and lower. I'll crouch down a little bit, but I'm not gonna do any belly crawl, especially on this gross dirt. Let me take a short break. I want to check on something. 